It's an honor to welcome you to the awards ceremony of the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. Tonight, the Stockholm Junior Water Prize is celebrating its 15th anniversary. If we would have gathered all the participants during these 15 years here tonight in Stockholm, we would have needed a total of 430 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. This year's winning project reflects truly out-of-the-box thinking to find a solution to an important and real-world problem. Winner of the Stockholm Uni Water 2011 is the team from the United States of America. For my project, I created a way to test water quality using your cell phone. Uh, so the way it works is uh, there's a device called a microfluidic co-flow device, which I used, and you put water in this device. You then use this uh, app, which I wrote, to take a picture of the water in the device, and um, it analyzes this image, and it can determine the E. coli and coliform bacteria concentrations. This week, we've heard a lot about the water challenges in need of attention. These challenges are very real, and we must continue to focus on improvements to protect the most precious natural resource and find ways to advance the smarter use of water. I think people should compete in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize um, because it shows uh, why water is really a problem and how uh, finding solutions can be rewarded and then can be implemented in the real world instantaneously. Mm -hmm.